good phrasing was good. The only thing is that you're afraid is not loud enough. So you fall from above the keys. Wow. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to stay on the keys. Okay. And use the wrist up when you have the fingers on the keys and the elbows a little bit open like wings. So that you can play the very intense D but from close up. Yes, exactly. Compared to the slap or the uh, of the fluff. Years ago, when I recorded the Power Requiem, I did exactly the same situation.
audience is in the first row going, what? <laughs> I think that uh, mezzo piano is enough. centered and whispered middle of the keyboard intensity with voiced melodic line. So it's very uh, extroverted and very intimate. Play again the last chord, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
to go like this, notice the E by the E sharp. You mean if it's a slower time? It is in our brain. Yes. So, do I replay it? Or? No. Okay. But mostly I want you to play as you just tried the high register to sound like crystalline organ stops, like angel sounds. <laughs>
little less slow. <laughs> it's leaning forward. It has to be very smoothly driven so that you merge into traffic of the new section, which is variation five. My purpose in the variation is not to hear for the audience who doesn't have the score at the beginning of each. Is to sort of always smoothly, surprisingly, um, refreshingly um, entering in it, and you realize you're into the next variation already because of the modulation in this guy, in this case, B minor. Study 
contrapoint, I have to show it off. In fact, it's lost on the listener, but it's better now. Thank you. 